Moving on now, the month of Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar and a festive time in all parts of the Muslim world. From the Gaza Strip now, our special correspondent, Noor Harazin, explains how residents observe this holy event there. and worship God. At the last week, celebrations start to welcome Eid al-Fitr, which is a great festival marking the end of this holy period. However, in the Gaza Strip, it has a different taste of soreness because some of the basic and the traditional foodstuffs are unavailable due to the Israeli blockade and the Egyptian military destruction of tunnels connecting the Strip and Egypt. Sometimes these goods are out of reach due to the expensive prices and poverty in the Gaza Strip. Prices are unaffordable for us. What is happening in Egypt is affecting us dramatically. Add to this the fact of seven long years under the Israeli siege. If Egypt does not want the tunnels, they should at least allow us to import food and goods from the border legally. Hopes and dreams of a better Ramadan come while fuel, food and water shortages began to be felt in the Gaza Strip due to the new Egyptian military decisions toward Gaza after the new CC government power two years ago. I am sad because we Gazans are suffering. There are no salaries. At the same time, there is not much supply of goods, which means that what is available doubles or even triples in price. Our president does not care. Our Palestinian unity government does not care. So how do we expect Egypt to care? Meanwhile, many international and local charities in the Gaza Strip launched their small Ramadan projects to feed hundreds of families in Gaza who are not capable to afford decent food. This comes after the United Nations Relief and Works for Palestinian Refugees cancelled their yearly Ramadan appeal, a PID which was meant to restore a minimum standard of dignity to the Palestinian refugees living in the Gaza Strip. Nuhar Zin, TV, Gaza.